Hello and welcome to the first ever Talking Point. I'm Jack Sheeran and this video is brought to you by The Interviewer. Here we aim to offer you a different perspective to consider when thinking about issues today. With vlogs, short interviews, mini debates and discussions, you'll have plenty to choose from. To kick us off, we're launching a special two-part series of videos about the European Union. In this video, I'm joined by Nick Sutton, a recent graduate of politics from the University of Exeter and former president of the Exeter University Liberal Democrat Society, to talk about the European Union, trade and the economy. We do send £350 million pounds a week to Brussels. Is that money well spent, do you think? Well, I think the first thing you've got to do with this argument is to actually break down that cost. So the Leave campaign keep using this £350 million figure. Um, actually, in fact, it's, it's a significantly smaller than that once you take into account the rebate that was negotiated in the 1980s by Margaret Thatcher and you take into account the money that comes in from the EU in terms of support for uh, the agricultural industry, uh, deprived areas of the UK such as the South West and Wales. Um, and actually, once you've taken that into account, it's about a third of that figure that actually we send to the, the EU um, every week. Now, is that good value for money? I would say yes, because actually uh, you compare that to other areas of government spending, such as schools, hospitals, um, it's, you know, it's actually a relatively small figure in terms of government spending. We don't have any control over that 350 million. We don't get to choose where it gets spent. So we're still giving a substantial amount of money each week to a body which many people regard as unaccountable. Well, I don't think that's, that's fair. I think actually we do have a certain degree of say over where some of that money gets spent. Um, we obviously have, what, 70, 80 members of the European Parliament. We have a member of the European Commission. We sit on the Council of Ministers. So we do have a certain amount of say on EU spending, and particularly uh, the EU spending that affects the UK. Do you think the EU would work better as a trade union rather than this open border union we have now with the freedom of movement, freedom of services? Well, I think obviously initially when we joined uh, in uh, the 1970s, that's what the European economic community, as it was then, was about. You know, it was about trading uh, with our partners. Actually, I, I think uh, uh, my own view as a Liberal Democrat uh, is actually it's a good thing that we um, have a greater union beyond just simple ec economics. Um, I think that for several reasons, actually, I think it's the right thing to do. I think we uh, are living in a increasingly globalised world where it just makes sense to cooperate on a lot of issues, such as uh, global warming, uh, roaming charges, uh, international crime. Secondly, uh, just pragmatically, if we decide to go and leave the European Union, which is what's on, on the table at the moment, uh, we will still um, have... European decisions affecting us. You know, we, we, you look at uh, the two examples that everyone brings up is always Switzerland and Norway. Well, actually, both Norway and Switzerland, because they are part of the, the single market, part of trade arrangements of the European Union, have to accept a certain amount of political decisions uh, that are made within the European Union. And they, unlike Britain, have absolutely no say over them. Now, that isn't a good situation to be in. Um, I think that would be uh, definitely a negative thing for Britain. One thing that many people would say is scaremongering is that, on the part of the uh, Stay In campaign, is the fact that if we left the EU, if we vote to leave, that many businesses based within the UK would just up sticks and move into Europe or move elsewhere across the world. Do you think that's the case, or do you think they'll stay here? I think you have to look at the UK economy. Now, the UK economy, unlike, for example, the Norwegian economy, which is reliant on oil, so then they have a separate economic model that they can base themselves on outside the European Union. Our economy increasingly is reliant on the financial services industry. That is reliant on trade with the European Union. That's reliant on foreign companies wanting to put their money into London. You already see uh, the markets are jumpy about the idea of us leaving because we benefit so much from our trade with the European Union. So, you know, who knows that there are companies that are making noises to suggest they might leave or they might re they base their, their companies elsewhere outside the city of London. Now, I'm not trying to suggest the city of London is going to collapse overnight outside the European Union, but I don't think it will help the city of London not having access to that market, not having access to that trade. 